Let's deal with our new topic, which is area of sector and segment of a circle. At the end of the lesson, you would be able to identify the sector and second of a circle and solve for the area of a sector and second of a circle. So let us identify what is sector of a circle. It is the region bounded by an arc of the circle and the two radii to the endpoints of the arc. So on this figure, we have here the two radii which is PB and PA and the arc BA. So the region here is called sector of a circle. So we name this sector as sector BPA. So how do we find the area of sector of a circle? We will be using the formula measure of the arc over 360 degrees times the area of the circle. So in formula, it is measure of the arc over 360 degrees times pi r squared. Let's try to work on with this example. So the radius of circle P is 10 centimeters. If the measure of AB or arc AB is 60 degrees, what is the area of sector APB? So we will be using the formula measure of the arc over 360 times pi r squared. And then we substitute the value. The measure of the arc is 60 degrees over 360 times pi and the radius is 10 centimeters. So we get the ratio of 60 over 360. Lowest term is 1 over 6. The value of pi here is 3.14. And then we square 10 centimeter. So we have 100 square centimeters. So we need to multiply 1 times 3.14 times 100 is 314 divided by 6 equals 52.33 square centimeters. So the area of this sector is 52.33 square centimeters. So let's try another example. So in circle O, so this is circle O, the radius is 12 centimeters and the measure of arc DA is 45 degrees. What is the area of sector DOA? So again, we will be using the formula measure of the arc over 360 times pi r squared. And then we substitute the measure of the arc is 45. And uh, the, the radius is 12 centimeters. So it's there. That's why we have. So 45 over 360 in lowest term is 1 over 8. Pi here has the value of approximately 3.14. 12 squared is 144. Now, we will be multiplying 1 times 3.14 times 144, which is 462.16 divided by 8. So, dividing these two, we have 56.52 square centimeters. So, the area of this part, the area of sector DOA is 56.52 square centimeters. Now, let us identify what is segment of a circle. It is the region bounded by an arc of the circle and the segment joining its endpoints. So, on this figure, circle A, so we have here the segment DR. And the arc DR, so this shaded portion, which is bounded by the segment DR and arc DR, is called segment of a circle. Let us try working on with this example. Given circle A, let us find the area of the region bounded by arc DR and segment DR. So what do you think is the step in doing this one? 
So for us to be able to find the area of the segment of a circle with this given informations, we need to subtract the area of triangle DAR, so the area of this triangle, from the area of the sector, so the entire sector DAR. So the formula would be area of sector DAR minus the area of triangle DAR. So let us first find what is the area of the sector DAR. So we will be using again the formula measure of the arc over 360 times pi r squared. So substitute the measure of the arc is 90 over 360 times pi and the radius is 5 centimeters. So we get the uh, lowest term of 90 over 360 which is 1 fourth. Pi here is 3.14 and then we square 5, which is 25. Now, we will be multiplying 1 times 3.14 times 25 is 78.5 divided by 4. So, the area of sector DAR, so this part, is 19.625 square centimeters. Now, we are ready to find now the area of this Triangle, triangle DAR. So the formula for the area of the triangle DAR is 1 half times base times height. So we have here the 1 half. So the base here is 5. And of course, the height here is also 5. So moving on, we have 1 times 5 centimeters times 5 is 25 divided by 2. So... We have here the area of this triangle, which is 25 over 2, is 12.5 square centimeters. So we are now ready to find the area of the segment of a circle. So this part. Okay, so the area of sector minus the area of triangle. So we will be using 19.625 minus the area of the triangle, which is... 12.5 square centimeters. So the area of the segment of a circle, so this shaded portion is 7.125 square centimeters. Okay, let's try another example. Find the area of the shaded region. So on this example, we will be finding first the area of the the sector J A Y. So measure of the arc over 360 times pi r squared. That would be the formula for finding the area of sector J A Y. Substitute the value of the the arc, which is 100 over 360 times pi times our radius, which is 4 centimeters. So we get the lowest term of 100 over 360, which is 5 over 18. Pi here is 3.14 times uh, 4 squared, or 4 times 4, which is 16 square centimeters. Now we will be multiplying 5 times 3.14 times 16 is 251.2 divided by 18. That's why the area of the sector J, J A Y, this one is 13.96 square centimeters. Now moving on, let us try to find out the area of the triangle JAY. But we have to take note that this angle is not a 90 degree angle unlike with our previous example. This one is a 100 degree angle. So we will be using another formula which is sine times the measure of the arc, which is 100, divided by 2, times the, the radius, or this one, the legs, which is 4. So substituting, we have sine 100 degrees is 0 0.98, and the radius is 4 times 4. So 0 0.98 times 4 times 4, we have 15.68, and then we divide it by 2. That's why we have 7.84 square centimeters. 
So, 7.84 square centimeters is the area of the triangle JAY. Now, we are ready to solve for the area of the shaded region. So, the area of the shaded segment is equal to the area of the sector JAY, which is 13.96 square centimeters, minus the area of triangle JAY, which is 7.84 square centimeters. Subtracting them, we have 6.12 square centimeters. So the area of this shaded segment is equal to 6.12 square centimeters. Try doing this on your own. Find the area of the shaded region of each circle. Until our next session, thank you and enjoy learning.